Live from San Jose, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE. Covering Hadoop Summit 2016, brought to you by Hortonworks. Here's your host, George Gilbert. Good afternoon, this is George Gilbert. We're back at Hadoop Summit in the San Jose Convention Center. Um, we are very pleased to have with us George Chow, who's CTO of Simba, and I am privileged to call him one of my guru friends because he has such, um, such perspective on so many things going on in anything related to databases, Hadoop, and for that matter, data. Anyway, Thank George, you, George, so good to have you. Um, let's let's talk about SQL on Hadoop. You were sort of present at the creation, I think it was four years ago, mm -hmm. in uh, uh, Strata in New York, where um, um, uh, the Impala yes. database first first was introduced. Tell us how the conversation about managing data shifted after that. Yes. The, if, if those of you who remember Cloudera uh, back in 2012, uh, basically Impala was announced at the, at the I think it was the, the fall strata, and it was, I think, it, those, those in the new, know obviously um, was aware that there was Impala, but I think the, the announcement of Impala for the marketplace was, was very important because it, it, it demonstrated that you know, SQL was very, was very relevant. Um, what I what I saw was that you know from that from that moment that that shift into uh, 2013, um, the whole marketplace was much more open to SQL. Uh, basically, after the the announcement of Impala, it seemed like the entire marketplace decided that you know SQL was good again. And you mean uh, uh, like because for several years before that we'd been on this no SQL, I don't want to call it tangent, but that was the way we were, at least for. Um, for scale, we were we were sort of retreating from SQL. Yes, yes, for a number of years, I mean, with with no SQL rise, you know, I think with HBase, with Hadoop, a lot, of, a lot of uh, you know, you say pundits and a lot of vendors, and maybe um, we're just thinking that you know we we're over that, um, and and for a while, I mean, uh, when we were trying to sell um, the uh, the SDK technology and we're trying to interest people in building connectors. Uh, what we found was, you know, many people were, were, were just saying, you know, not needed. Uh, and so the the, um, the the launch of Cloudera's uh, Impala was it was a, was a great thing because it, it changed that it, it turned the message back onto SQL. So um, Oracle's used to telling everyone that it takes decades to build a highly performant and tuned and stable database and you know for the most part it's been true you know between them IBM and Microsoft and Postgres now you know coming along what changed that we have so many at least MPP decision support databases first on their own and now on Hadoop Oh, I think what's changed really is I think the uh, the interest in in doing it in the open source um, um, you can say model because if, if you look at it, it when you go down the list of all the various uh, engines that we have today whether you're talking about hive Impala drill um, you know Phoenix you know you can go down the list um, the, 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 the one hallmark that, that everyone is going for is that they want to build these in the open so that it's it's, it's available and it's an open core tech that everybody has access to, whether you're a vendor, whether you're a customer, whether you're a partner. But if if doing a, a really good query optimizer takes 10 years, is it the fact that all of these vendors have access to a common pool of intellectual property? Is that sort of why the, the innovation has accelerated? Oh, I think it's just a matter of time. In that case, I mean, the, uh, I mean, you, the, I, 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 have, I don't recall, you know, whether anybody's done, done any um, measurement against, you know, the pace of innovation in the open or in the uh, in the proprietary marketplace. But I think the the number of like a decade to get an optimizer right is, I think, just reflects the um, you know literally the amount of time that it takes to build something, uh, get it out into production, test and validate it. And in some sense, I don't see it as you know that significantly different between the proprietary versus the open source. 
resource marketplace. Um, so I mean, it's, you know, that, I think that's the part where I don't recall a technology where there's been that A-B comparison where people have done it once in a proprietary and done it once in open source and, and we're able compare. to measure and say, hey, you know, we did it faster here by whatever, X percent. So, okay, for starting in, I guess, 2012, we saw an acceleration of these decision support SQL engines and it mm -hmm. sort of revalidated that SQL was goodness for getting app data. Mm -hmm. But now we've seen a resurgence in transactional databases built on SQL that also scale out. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, we sort of took a detour and now we're back to the very heart of demanding systems. Why did that happen? Uh, it's, I think it's pretty obvious that at the, at the end of the day, like wh whether you're an enterprise, large or small, you need you need that you need that transactional system. And in this era, you you what you want it to be actually a good scale of technology that you could use and you can count on. And the uh, the, the failing I think of the last generation was that you know at a certain point you actually had to give up and you have to turn around and build an analytical system. You have to you have to build a secondary system. Uh, that actually you use for analytical purposes. Uh, today, I mean, what, we, what, what I think what everyone's trying to do now is to marry that two workflow and say, you know, you don't have to operate two systems. You can actually uh, run one system which suffices for your day-to-day -day transactional as well as be able to deliver, you know, analyticals. And, and who is farthest along on doing that, where, where to marry the, the best of both? Because my impression is it's easier to do the scale out decision support analytical workloads, but to actually, than it is to do the transactional, and then to actually combine them is even harder. So who's, who's farthest along and, and why are we making such fast progress? Well, it's actually hard to say who's fastest right now. I mean, the, 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 the ones that stick in my mind, uh, you know, as really kind of like taking this tack, you know, I think I would count like, you know, Spanner as one of them, Presto as another. Uh, I was just talking. Spanner from Google, Presto yes. from Facebook, and now. Facebook, Facebook Teradata. Yeah, ter yeah, Teradata. And then um, the other one that comes to mind because I was just talking to John uh, is Splice Machine. Um, th these are the three that I think have came very clearly to, to declare, um, you know, transactional and analytical is their target. Okay, that's, um, I guess, if, if we're here, if we, when we, if we, if we're here, if we come back in three years, what do you think the database market's gonna look like? It's gonna look very, very interesting. I think because uh, in, it, that, that converge workload, I think it's, it's still re relatively early. Like if you take a look at it, none of them, uh, if you wanna count those three, let's say, you know, none of them have really made it big in terms of uh, a lot of mind share and a lot of customers they can talk to. Uh, I mean, even in the case of Spanner, I think in, the, in that case, um, you know, Google hasn't, I think, hasn't made much of it in terms of uh, opening it up. Yeah, opening it up just yet. Uh, and certainly, we haven't seen much. So, all right. So, well, that's a placeholder for our our next conversation on the cube to uh, do a benchmark and see how much we've moved. Um, it's a lot, a lot has transpired in the last few years. Yes, it's gonna be exciting in the next couple of years, so. All right, and you'll be ringside with us in evaluating how we're doing. This is George Gilbert. We're at Hadoop Summit in San Jose uh, at the Convention Center. We'll be back shortly after this, thanks.